Welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today we're going to be doing this double-sided tape stripe tumbler. This is such an easy technique to do, and I know you guys got this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and let's wake up, prep these tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. All right, I'm working on a 30 ounce skinny tumbler. It actually works really well on skinny tumblers, so that's why I'm using that today. I already prepped and primed my tumbler. I, I picked this color that's somewhat in between the darkest color and the one of the lightest colors that I'll be using because this tape is see-through and it will really help out with your glitters looking splotchy. And it also depends on what kind of glitter you're using as well. If you're using an ultra fine glitter, it's obviously gonna have really good coverage, but if you're using just a normal size 1 64th cut glitter, it, you may run the chance of it looking a bit splotchy. So I just went ahead and measured my tumbler. It's about nine and a half inches long. And this kit that I bought with all these double-sided tapes, has all kinds of different sizes in it, and it's really just going to help me out with measuring, knowing what, what size tapes that I want to use, because I know that I wanted to do like a variant in sizes, so like a bigger size down to a smaller size, and I picked three different sizes here. Now this bigger one is about five eighths of an inch, the middle one is about a half an inch, and that very last one is about three eighths of an inch, and all together that equaled about an inch and a half. So I know just based off of my measurements that this will give me enough room to fully go down my tumbler in these three different sizes all the way down to the bottom and ending with just a little bit of a gap at the bottom so that way I can finish it up with the very top color that I'm starting with. But of course you guys can choose any size tapes that you want to to go down your tumbler to do these stripes. It is completely up to you. Now let's talk a little bit more about this tape. As I told you guys earlier, it is clear. You can't really see it now, but you will be able to see it once I go to peel back the backing here. I like to leave just a little bit of a gap at the top, and this is the very first one that we're putting down, and this is the most important one. You wanna make sure that this is as even as possible when you go to put this down. If you don't feel comfortable doing it freehanded like I am, you could probably do a pencil line straight down the middle so that way you know your tape is nice and even if you need to, that first one here, because everything else is going to go based off this very first one. So now that I have my tape all the way around, I'm just gonna make a little dent so I can see where I need to trim it off. I like to go just a little bit below that little dent just so that way I know it is fully covered from end to end. And I am starting off with my biggest size first and then I'm gonna go with my middle size down to my small size. And as you go, you might start to notice, and I'll go over this a little bit more here after we get all the tape applied, you might start to notice these little ripples. You really wanna come through and make sure that you give it a little bit of a slice and smooth it down as much as you possibly can. This is really gonna help prevent any of those glitters from accidentally mixing in with one another, and it will just ensure that that tape is nice and stuck down to your tumbler. I know this is a straight skinny, it shouldn't have any curves or anything like that, but sometimes there might be little imperfections that will cause these little dimples to rise up. So now I'm moving on to that second piece of tape. This is my medium sized tape here. This is my half an inch tape. And again, I'm just gonna butt it up right up against my other tape. And I'm just gonna go completely around, do the same exact thing, make my little dent so I know where to slice it. And then I'm gonna move on to my smallest size tape. And again, do the same exact thing where I bring it up right up against it, making sure that those lines are as straight as possible. And just go completely around my tumbler, making sure that I end it and kind of seal down that end there and then go ahead and trim it back. And from here now, I just repeat that same process with my biggest tape, my second biggest, and my smallest completely down to the bottom. But I was able to leave about a half an inch of a space at the bottom so that way I could kind of blend everything back together with that color that I'm gonna be using first at the very bottom as well, just so it all ties together. Okay, so after my tape is all applied, as you can see, there were some inconsistencies in my tumbler here, and we just wanna make sure that we come through, give those a little bit of a slice, and make sure it is completely smoothed down to our tumbler before we start glittering. Once we have that all smoothed down, we're gonna go ahead and start off with our very first color. I'm gonna work with my darkest color first. Uh, this is called Adore. This is just a very beautiful, 
magenta color that's what I'm going to be using so the first thing I'm going to do is I have my little needle nose uh, tweezers here they work great to kind of poke in there because you don't want to peel it back too much I'm going to all I'm going to do is remove that paper backing right off the tape super simple and yet, as you see after I lift it up it, that tape is perfectly clear underneath and as I go I also make sure that I smooth down my seam really good I just kind of take my finger and I take the end of the tweezers as well just to make sure that it's all tapped down and there won't be any kind of seam once we apply our glitter and once we have our paper, our first paper backing all pulled back, I'm going to go ahead and take my glitter here and I'm just going to shake it right onto that sticky tape. Now, this is so extremely easy, guys. Seriously, I know you guys got this. And again, I'll make sure to put everything that I'm using today down in the description box so that way you guys can shop any of these items if you would like to. So after I get my glitter applied, all I'm gonna do is take my finger and just kind of burnish it down, making sure that it fills in any little gaps. And then I'm just going to completely go up my tumbler, filling in all those tapes that I had pulled back. All right, once I get to the very top here, as you see, I left that little bit of gap up there just so that way when we go to apply our epoxy and we do our sanding and stuff, that glitter won't be affected. Now, the next thing we're gonna do before we move on to this next glitter is we're just gonna take our chip brush and we're gonna smooth away any of that excess glitter that might be on the tumbler. You just wanna sweep that away really well before we move on to this next step. Once that's all swept away, I went ahead and I got myself a clean piece of paper as well because we're going to be moving on to our next color. This next one is called Beloved. I just thought it went really well with the colors that I had going on today. So I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to take my tweezers. I'm going to pull back that second piece of tape all the way down right next to where we did the Adore. And again, I'm just going to make sure that I tap down my little seams as well so it doesn't accidentally leave a seam mark once we go to apply our glitter. And once I have those all pulled back, we're going to repeat the process again of applying the glitter, burnishing it down really good, and again, so, so simple. Now this technique isn't anything new. This has actually been around for quite a while and it's just starting to kind of come back again with popularity. So I just really wanted to share those because I haven't done one before with this kind of tape just to show anybody who hasn't seen it before. But I'll make sure to put where I got my inspiration from and where the, the first place that I seen it from down in the description box below so that way you guys can watch that original video if you would like to. Now that that is all down, I'm gonna go ahead and take my chip brush again. I'm gonna sweep everything away and then we're ready to add our last color onto the tumbler. This last color that I'm using is called Cherish. And again, all these colors are available at my glitter shop, socglitters.com, if you would like to purchase these glitters. So as you guys seen, I removed the paper, that last paper backing that I had to do here. I'm going ahead and put on my last glitter. I'm going to burnish that down really good. And then I'm going to come through and sweep that off really good with my chip brush. But first, I kind of wanted to show you guys something that just a little oopsie that happened to me. Now, some of that uh, adore did get up underneath where the chair stripe was. So all I'm going to do is take my little tweezers and I'm just going to kind of scoop back any of that glitter that might be on there making sure that I don't accidentally you know um, peel up the tape itself I'm going to put some more of my cherish down burnish that down really good and that tidied up my stripe line right there all right, so now I want to show you guys before we move on at just how well this really does cover because I know that some everybody's main issue is it does look a bit splotchy but I want to show you guys up close exactly what it looks like if you put a color as your base it really helps fill in and it doesn't look splotchy at all all right so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glitter up the bottom again I'm just going to go in with that very first color that I used just to tie everything together I'm just using my seat my amazing sealer but you could use Mod Podge for this you're going to glitter it up really good and you're going to set it off to the side and let that dry now, before I move on to epoxying it, I'm gonna come through one last time with my chip brush and really sweep away any extra glitters. This is really going to ensure that none of those glitters were, will shift around and that your stripes will stay as pure as possible. Once I get this swept off really well, I'm gonna hit it up really good with my two times ultra cover by rust-oleum i really like this to seal in my glitters that's really going to help prevent those glitters from shifting around i actually did two coats of this the first one i did i let that dry and then i came through and did a second coat just to really make sure 
those stripes stay looking exactly how they are right now. So when I go to do the first coat of epoxy over my raw glitter, I just kind of do my measurements, my mLs based off the, the size of the tumbler itself. This was a 30 ounce, so I did about 30 mLs of my epoxy for that, that first coat of epoxy over the raw glitter. Now the next day after it is cured, I'm gonna go ahead and trim out my rim. It just really helps out in the end process. I'm gonna sand it down really good if it needs to, making sure I expose a little bit of that silver around the top. It just makes it look a lot tidier. And I didn't feel like it needed pinstriping. I really like it exactly how it is. So that's how it's going to stay for me. I think I did pretty good. And I know that you can too, making sure that your stripes are nice and straight, that it doesn't even need the pinstripes. I know you guys got this, okay? <laughs> I'm going to add the coat that I want to put on. I just used a pretty pink vinyl with a white offset. I'm going to apply its two last finishing coats of epoxy. And she is good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.